Uh, my name is Abdul, and uh, we are here at Sauda Park in Danahag. I came here, I think, now 21 years, and uh, yeah, I've seen a lot, you know. I uh, graduated at the Hague University of uh, Science, Applied Science, it's here in Danahag. So I have my bachelor degree okay. in public management. So I'm working, and at the same time, I also run my business online. Okay. I have an online business. If you want to find out more about my business, what I do, go to www.kadiruumar.com. That is www.kadiri.com. you find all the information that you want. So, you know, we are not just Africans. We are also professionals, you know. Mm -hmm. Everybody has their own skills. Mm -hmm. So we are working and also contributing to the economy. So basically, that's my story. Contributing to the economy yeah. of here and then the back of home. Here and mm -hmm. back home, of course, because mm -hmm. uh, we send money to Africa and that mm -hmm. is remittance, yeah. which is helping the African economy. I'm sure all African countries have uh, Africans in diaspora and they contribute a lot to the economy. Because at the end of the month, almost everybody sent money to their family. And uh, it's helping the economy because our economy in Africa, there is significant amount of unemployment, especially the youth. Most of the youth are not working, they are unemployed. Not because they don't want to work, but because they simply can't find work. So those of us in diaspora, those of us in Europe, America, Australia and other Western countries, we are really contributing a lot to the African economy because our remittances, the money that we send back home, is making changes, is changing people's lives. Not only our family, but the economy is contributing to the GDP, that is gross domestic product of our country. So that's a positive sign. But the most sad thing, the sad thing is that, you know, uh, sometimes when you send people, or send money, sorry, back home for them to do something for you, it's like they end up spending the money on some unnecessary things. They think we are here, we are sleeping on money, or there's money on the ground. People, it's not like that. Everybody is working. So if you have a family who is living abroad and sends you money to do something, a project, please, 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 don't misuse the money. Use the money for what they send it for you to do it. Because Africans are going through a lot. It's not easy to be able to make it. So if somebody asks, maybe your brother, your sister, your auntie, your uncle, if someone sends you money to build a house or maybe to do something, you know, just do it for the person. Please, don't just spend the money. It's not easy. People are not just sleeping and making money. People are working very hard. So that's my message for you. Thank you very much. Um, what you said you lived here like for more than 20 years, yeah. right? Uh, what do you think is life uh, as an African person or even to be bold as a black person to live in the Netherlands? Um, for me, I am more than happy to be here um, because first of all, staying in this country has helped me a lot. I'm able to support my family back home. I, uh, I got educated in this country because I have my university degree here. Maybe if I were to be in Africa, I mean, I wouldn't be able to pay for the university because it's very expensive. But through the system here, I applied for the school, I got it, I got the financial support, and now I'm working, I'm paying back. So as an African, I think me being in this country has helped not only me, but also my family. And just like other Africans also here. But personally, I'm happy to be here. I don't have any problem with anybody. I'm just a free person, a free-minded person. And uh, yeah, I'm just happy to be living here because I'm working, I'm healthy. So I thank God for that. Um, not only African people or black people, but even the Dutch people, they say there's a very systemic racism in the system of uh, the government uh, yeah. here in the Netherlands. Any experience that you would like to share? Um, personally, well, I wouldn't say that there isn't uh, systematic racism. 
And uh, I wouldn't say that I've never seen or come across any racist person before, because that wouldn't be true, simply. But you just can't paint everybody with the same brush. It's not fair. Everybody is different. Everybody is unique. So I don't judge people based on the dominant discourse. I, I don't do that. I judge people by my interaction with him. So for instance, as I'm talking to you right now, I'm not gonna judge you and say that you are a good person or all Ethiopian people are good people just because you are being good to me. And the same thing, if you do something bad to me, I'm not gonna judge all Ethiopians and say all Ethiopians are bad just because of you. No, I judge people based on their action and interactions with me. So generally, I, I'm satisfied. I'm okay. I just don't see anything worse, you know. But of course, I've also, you know, come across some racist and all that. But it's okay, you know, I can just deal with it. What's your advice for people back home, the youth especially? I mean, still hundreds of people die in route to reach to the borders of Europe, you know, uh, on the boat, in the sea, on the sea. What is your advice uh, to them? Um, my advice to you is that your life is very important. So, I mean, if you are working, if you are living in Africa, in a stable country, there's no war, you are working, you are able to pay your bills, you are able to take care of your family. I mean, you are having a normal life. I think there's no need for you to risk your life, you know, trying to, trying to come to Europe. Of course, if you live in a place where there is war, it means there is political instability, there is war, then you have every right, of course, to escape, just to save yourself. But if you are working, if you have your work, please, just concentrate on your work, there's no better thing like being an entrepreneur. Try and start your own business. That is the best thing you can do for yourself. Simply don't risk your life. But if you don't have any option, there's no work, then of course you have to do what you think is right for you. If you think going to Europe or anywhere else is going to help you, then fine. But my advice is that if you are working, you are able to take care of yourself, your family, please just concentrate on your work. And uh, yeah, build a happy family. That's my advice. And education is also very important. Wherever you are, whether you are in Africa, Europe, or wherever, education is very important. And it's good to learn something that you can do with your hand, you know? So if you're in Africa, and you can learn maybe carpentry, um, mechanic, like as a mason, painter, like anything that you can learn is very important. If you come to Europe, it can help you. I'm telling you, someone who is working as a carpenter or mason or mechanic is making more money than someone working at bank. And anyone who experienced in Europe will confirm my story. If you are an entrepreneur, you have your own work, you are making more money than someone sitting in the office. Maybe people will not respect you, they think they see you dirty, you come from work. But I tell you, if you have your own business, it's much better than working at the office for somebody else. So try and learn something. Wherever you are, education, education, education is the key. Education is very important. Thank you very much. And for those, uh, quickly, for those who live here, not everybody is successful in their life, meaning the Africans here. What is the secret really to be successful and still meet your goal? Uh, why you came here? Um, I'm a very religious person, I believe in God, and uh, I believe that everything that you do, you have to trust in God. So first of all, trust in God, and try and upgrade yourself all the time by seeking knowledge. Try to always upgrade yourself. That is very important. If you maybe graduated five years ago, now you might need to upgrade your knowledge. So just try to do something that will, you know, make you succeed on the job market. So education is important and also have faith in God. Because without God, there's no us. Without God, you can't do anything. That's it.
Thank you, Abdul. You're welcome. And uh, good luck. Thank you. <laughs>